Horror Duckies and welcome to Strange Horticulture. Now I actually did a demo for this quite a while back. I can't remember exactly which Steam Fest it was, but it was one of the Steam Next Fests. And I absolutely loved it. It is an interactive uh visual novel style game with a few with with a lot of history behind it um so we are going to be starting a new game and there's a lot of reading that's going to be going on so i apologize the streets of undermere are narrow and claustrophobic in many places the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands or more likely exchange unpleasantries Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Day one. Uh, this game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Ah, all right, got you. Oh boy, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. I found it, an excerpt on the elusive wandering blue, boo. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simon or Simone. We'll see which. P.S. Give Helvor a good scratch behind the ears for me. That's Helvor. A kitty. Oh my gosh, the purrs. Helvor, oh, you're beauty. You're beautiful. You're perfect. Let's see. Uh, it's just a flower. All right, so let's Sweet scent like strawberry dipped in honey Okay, do we have any more? No Small red berries Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the underside are somewhat sharp Red spores protrude from the caps. Okay. And these will all be useful in a moment. Veined leaves have a waxy finish. Blue flowers, light, airy scents. Okay. Smell strongly of sour milk. Bad enough to make my eyes water. Ugh. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Uh, pleasant, a single pink flower that smells pleasant. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Soft flowers, soft, and are a soft purple with a sweet scent. Flowers are made up of many smaller blue flowers. They smell pleasant. Red with sweet scent. Faintly of wood smoke feels like rough glass paper. Cream colored flowers, they smell wonderful. It smells faintly off putting but not overpowering. Pungent but not unpleasant. Bulb is soft yellow, leaves are waxy. Light buttery scent. 
scent that scratches at the back of my throat. Ooh. Here's your course to the touch. It smells of nothing that I can touch. Uh, that's worrisome. Smooth waxy leaves. Okay. So, uh, neither the time nor the inclination. Oh. Watering my plants earned me the will to explore. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Barrow Keep. Barrow Back. Back Barrow. Keep it secret. Okay. Archives. Labels. This is our book of plants. Here we have a map with a bunch of different locations. Something to make it easier to read. And a random coin. Okay then. So, ding the bell. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find out what they're saying. St. John's Poppy. Okay, so let's go back here. St. John's Poppy. Vibrant petals of the flower can be brewed to create a drop that greatly improves the imbiber's hearing ability. Bright red with yellow center. That's what she's looking for. Okay. Identify. to open any lock no matter how complex or secure the heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname love lock okay good morning bloody awful weather out there today good for the plants though eh got a letter for you Thank you, sir. Gosforth is the hateful town I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just that I, and just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south. Of the town with a group of travelers on the northeast corner of the woods, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that it, there's beauty in this world. I shall return to Undermere soon. I must duck. Okay. Uh, will to explore. Ample side. Library and Ambleside. Where is Ambleside? Back Barrow. Ambleside. Library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simon in the library. Simone is always helpful. 
share some of my passions. For unusual plants today, she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she found. Two new pages. Alright. Okay, so that one's got a check mark now, so that's complete. Um, I gain more will over time, so let's. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way round down by Back Barrow. Never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Lemon dandy, lemon dandy. Cold leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of the plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, flowers mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. Lemon dandy. Soft yellow. No. Use a hint. Curled. I'm looking for a plant with curled leaves. Yes, I'm well aware of the fact that it's got curled leaves. Smooth waxy. Of course, nothing I can detect. Wonderful. Oh, there it is. There we go. And I got a new plant. Let's take a look. Yellow, pale yellow flower leaves are quite soft. Okay. And I got another will to explore. North, east. East would be. Weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. Good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over. Cloak of unwelcome shade. New plate collected. That looks very dangerous, which is what the note suggested. Okay. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask. Next, we are a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape. Though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly, horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. It's swift. Okay. Um. Something that will help with sleep. Stomach pains. Locks. Strength. 
sleeping draught. Forest Camry. Strong smelling bulbs. Okay. Um, just beautifully rounded dark blue clusters made of smaller plants. So. Found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. Okay, so we've got the will to explore again. Let's pull out this one. South of the town of Gosforth. Gosforth. Gosforth, Gosforth, Grasmir, Hawkshead, Gosforth. One thing. Oh, darn it! I wasted. Got any wandering boo? Always reminds me of oh what's his name? That old hermit invent wanderer. Always anyway, the boo if you've got any. One second. One kiss moves slowly in the dark has been known to cover distance several meters. Gills on the underside. Quite hard. They're also quite hard and sharp. Okay. I think that was. No. Not that one. This one. Yes. There we go. I have summer and I'm closed now, but. Huh. Okay, so it was northeast corner. Woods have a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape the nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It's not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Here we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Sweet smelling dark flower. Okay. Hmm. Let's end our day. We do need to get out to the witches at some point, but oh. It started when she found something, something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Interesting. Row H, the third river. Okay. Wasted that. Okay. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisus. And be quick about it, the damn cat is setting off my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in the shop like this. Thank you. 
keeps bugs from eating my plants. I don't even know if I have that. Rich man. Can I have a hint? Sounds like an, I should consult. Okay. Oh. No, Latin names are right there. Okay. Ah. Gendiart. Plant with medicinal purpose. It is digestive when prepared correctly. Rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals. Okay. So rough leaves I remember something Aha, there we go hey you are sir Deer in the river, yellowed bones protruding flesh. Death for one per hides life for many. Ooh. Hello. Dark blue petals are soft and feathery to touch. My fingers ache from handling. Ooh. That's troublesome. Looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Oh. Old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. Never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by train waves. Tramways. I thought you might be interested. Okay, so hard not. Hard not. Hard not. Gate rusted by years of abandonment since cross the tunnel. Rust may be, it may be, it won't budge locked. Oh, I have an answer for that one. Change. Let's see if I have the plant. or not though. Heart shaped leaves I don't think I do. Ooh. That's not good. We'll come back. 
back when we have them. Grace is now forced investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The sisterhood are a secretive lot and they're not keen to talk to me. The leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. Oof. Instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button. That would help me with the monster. Okay. Fox button. Thick, shiny layers growing in opposite pairs of the stem. That could be it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's the one I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yes, box button. Okay. able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's poppy. It's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible creepers. It's a plant you know that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away. Eat my sleep. Harlequin blue. Harlequin blue. Do I have Ah, here we go. Harlequin blue. Bushy blue flower heads that die back, they release seeds. Tiny plant which assist in wind and once dried and hardened stems burn. As they burn, they let out high pitched shrieks. A bouquet. Hmm. This was one I had a problem with before, too. Just try that one. Nope. Okay, that's not it. Bushy blue. It's bushy and blue, so there we go. Okay, and it's that. Okay. Um, let's actually go to the forest. Two members of the sister step out and remind me that this is a forest I am not welcome to. Oop. Boop. Shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken.
lines are the easiest to line up as far as things but you still have to be careful Revived my mind is whole again. Hit that mood. Okay. And that, of course, ends the day, I believe. Unless it doesn't. You have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead, and they are doing being bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. Such a does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. That's what I should have gotten, to be assured. Your discretion. We require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Okay, Mary's breath. Wide waxy leaves allow the plant. Okay, uh, wide waxy. Um, nice bat. Ooh. Not it. Light waxy. duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You'll find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore. Over from Trover, please help us. Okay. And now we can actually go out there instead of getting our rears handed to them. Why the last night you gave me made my skin itch furiously. Have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. What? Oh, butterdale or meek do. Okay. Make a butter smaller. Skin results in painful sores. Um, butter gel, stew to mulch, flour smell buttery. I believe I had one that was like that. Buttery? Buttery. Take another look at the letter. Crystal Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from a mile from the lake shore, across from oh. right here. Sister Teresa stopped me about and I showed her the letter and she let me through him, ushered into a walled courtyard, then through a large oak door along the corridor 
Down a set of stone stairs into a cold basement lying on the table draped in silk is the Arda. Not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair all black as raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Ren. Black in the presence of certain poisons. That has no flower, such a smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. This one, I know. I knew that wasn't correct yet. I doubt this is it. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, okay then. Extract a sample of the artist's blood and introduce it to the wren. My suspicions are confirmed to me. The lips of the wren turn black, which can only mean one thing gilded dendro poisoning. Pres upon re presenting my findings, I'm rushly rushed away quickly. Sister, she did not want me hanging around, it seems. I do have her send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I'm grateful for. Hmm. Okay, one of those is that new one, Shiverlung. Um, where did that one get put? This one. Um, Shiverlung. Okay guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I actually went a little longer than I normally would have gone. Um, but thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!